Hello y'all. This is the Roblox game Blocks Cards, and in this video we're trying out the pre-constructed Barge Town Metaverse set group deck, and let's go to the shop and then go to decks, and here it is, Metaverse Series Barge Town, smuggle your way to victory in this blue-yellow group based off the Roblox game series After the Flash, and After the Flash I believe is like a, it is a, it is a apocalyptic role-playing game series on Roblox. I think, and Barge Town itself is named after a large scrap town located upon a barge controlled by a group called the Coalition who is referenced in the names of these cards for Barge Town, well a few of them, and Barge Town has a, well Barge Town is from the game after the Flash Wintertide, but Barge Town has a card smuggling mechanic where cards that are smuggled become inert in all zones and their red and green stud costs become blue and yellow. I believe red becomes blue and green becomes yellow. And we have all these nice Barge Town cards here, such as Darius the Kingmaker. But besides them, we also have some non-Barge Town cards. And this deck and group released relatively recently as a recording. It came out on December 22nd, 2023. And the non-Barge Town cards here are Stacy D07. Then we have say Guardia Blacksmith or Guardia Bladesmith who is good for blue yellow stud synergy. We have Glacia Mage, Roxapox, Lucky Maxer, and it looks like the only other non barge town card is Wielder of the Wind Force, who is very good for blue and yellow synergy for those type of decks that use both of those studs primarily. And besides all that, when you purchase this deck you will get the title. I have 160 WPM which means words per minute. I have 160 words per minute and that relates to typing speed. And that is just a very interesting title, honestly. Moving on from that, let's see what this deck can do. We're now in a match against Evil Crafts 56 Alt. So let's play the Coalition Smuggler. We have two of those. Get these out here now. And our opponent seems to be running some type of blue deck since Coalition Smuggler has obliterated the bottom card of our opponent's deck and gave us a smuggled copy of it. We basically steal their cards, it's fine though, and we need to now cast another Coalition Smuggler maybe. I want to try and play that Melvin Hat at some point. We need more blue cards though. We need to draw blue. They also have green. They have green and blue. This is a green and blue deck rub against maybe their Archive. I don't know, they have some... They have a... Very curious, they have a card here that is an alternate art of Neon District. Put Lucky Maxer in the base plate again. I have no blue right now. So we are kind of forced to do that. And let's now... Oh, we have Spark, but they're inert in all zones. Okay, we'll play Spark next. We'll also play Melvin Hat. And we want pre-war technology. I don't know. Possibly. We may play that. They put Melvin Hat, put a green stud in your base plate. And Colonel Graf there is going to be stronger. Play the Glacium Mage. Yes or no. What do we want to do? Put Spark down and put the Roxa Pox in the base plate. And I'll, they'll get some life too. What are they trying to get? They have Ancient Chronicler as well. I'm very curious what they're aiming to accomplish. Play Melvin Hat and the Coalition Smug. The Guardia Blacksmith or the Guardia Bladesmith will gain more health. And now let's attack their card. Colonel Graf has to go destroy them with the Guardia Blade Smith. And I have no idea what they're going for. They just drew a card of Space Sandwich. It has to be some type of life gain deck, I think. And just keep attacking with the Coalition Smugglers. We have Darius the Kingmaker in our starting hand. I want to play them, but we need to play more... More... What do you call it? More... We need to play more smuggled cards, first and foremost. They're building up momentum right now. We need to attack, and let's put Glacia Mage in the base plate, or no. Yeah, put them in the base plate, or I don't know. Do we want to? Sure, cast pre-war technology, though. That will have to do. And now let's attack here, and cast actually another pre-war technology, just so we can have more potential, more potential smuggled cards, and we can build up the amount of smuggled cards we've cast. And we'll cast Darius to Kingmaker. We can use his various abilities. We've, if we have cast six smuggled cards in this game. If we have cast all, we can use the three different 
actions he will grant us. We'll cast Troop in the game, probably, who is one of our cards anyway. And let's see what they do. They're going to lose power. They have Ice Spy. Some type of Ice Spy. Some alternate art there. And we just need to keep attacking. We'll play Troop in the game, definitely. And do that now. Come on, there we go. Fantastic, and we'll attack at this point. Do we want to put Corruption in the base plate? I don't know, just attack at this time. Do that, they may have a board wipe, so I'm not sure. Let's put Corruption in the base plate. We need actually another yellow card there, not a blue one. And let's in turn, and if they don't play anything substantial, we will destroy them, frankly. We'll play Zerpy Donal, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. And what are they going to do? I do like these smuggled card cost. This is basically kind of like a rainbow group in a way, but it isn't technically. And what are they going to play? They have Space Shield Child. They are not doing too well here, frankly. Destroy that card, though. Come on, go on the offensive. And let's play Darius the Kingmaker soon because we can. Come on. And cast Corruption. Or no, I don't know. Just put Degardia Bladesmith in the base play for now and continue attacking. And get rid of this card here. Deal some damage. Fantastic. Do we want to play anything else? I don't know. Do they have... They have 11 studs. They may try to cast some type of board wipe if we overextend the 7 fighters. So I just... I can't risk it. If they forfeit, they forfeit. I want to cast Darius to Kingmaker, but we want to win at the same time. What are they going to do? They have the studs. We're not going to overextend. I refuse to overextend. If they can counter it, they can counter it. If they can't, they can't. And... What are they going to do? Come on. I'm going to play the British Summer card they gave us at the rate they're going. Because they're just not doing anything. Play British Summer now. We just need to attack and deal more damage. Guardia Bladesmith already went in. Now let's go with Troop in the game. Do that now. Put the guns and ammo shopkeep in the base plate. And they are not... What, do they have a board wipe here at all? Anything that can substantially stop us? I have no idea. I don't know. They may or may not have anything. I don't want to have to not cast Darius to Kingmaker. Please play something strong I can hit my cards against. I want to be able to cast Darius, but there's a chance that may not happen. They need to cast a card that's big and powerful. Oh no, that's bad. Okay. We can recover from this. We can recover. How many smuggled cards have we cast this game? At least two? A few of them? Maybe? So now our enemy cards, we're going to lose power. Oh well. And... Let's go in and attack now. Come on, attack. We're using the British Summer to try and give us more cards. Play the Darius the Keymaker now. How many cards do we have in our hand? I think 10. If I were just cast him, then cast the Coalition Smuggler. And now the Devious Doctor is here. We have, at this point, got ourselves a... Got a full crowd's favor field, so we'll get more white stud colorless stud generation at the end of every turn destroy colonel graph do that now and attack here and just keep striking against the enemy and in fact we'll lock them or do we want to risk it i don't know just play glacium mage now and just lock down that ancient chronicler so he can't do anything to stop us and let's in turn we'll cast probably a smuggled fighter next turn and that will be the outskirts scout. Maybe Darius the Keymaker needs to deal some damage. He has some very nice, very nice design. Oh no, they played Saint T, who's going to lock all enemy fighters for two fi for two turns when the cards die. Cast, I don't know, Zerpidonal. Be useful for us, please, or no. Cast Plankton here, then cast the guns and ammo. Shop keep, and let's go on the offensive here. Go. We'll destroy Saint T, even if it does cause us to be locked up for a few turns. And just destroy him. Destroy him at all cost. And we lost Troop in the game, I believe. Whatever. And go, go, go. Come on. I believe the Barge Town, they have their own special terrain and everything, but we haven't got it yet. Destroy the Ancient Chronicler here with the Devious Doctor. And now the Devious Doctor is gone, but ICT is nearly dead. Let's cast a Barge Town Barista and attack with the Guardia Bladesmith here and just see what they do. And in turn, 
our cards will be locked. Now they have 1600 health remaining. They have a few turns to do, do stuff. And we're just curious what they do. How many smuggled cards have we played? I wish there was a counter for that. We have played one, two, a few of them. We played a number of them. And now they have played President Duck. That is bad. I'm going to get life gain from that. They may make a comeback. That's concerning. And let's now play Outskirt Scout. And then play Bulwark Ben, who is the an epic fighter, apparently. Oh my goodness gracious, that's a lot of draw. And that card can attack. Let's put Corruption in the base plate. Yes, or something. Select a card to smuggle. Let's take Gravity Collapse, because that is a base plate. That's a card they could use. That could be very annoying. And let's now discard the Devious Doctor. And in turn, we have taken Gravity Collapse, which is an alternate art of the Shadow Realm. And that is a board wipe, essentially. And what are they going to do? And Darius the Keymaker is already out of the lock. And this is definitely not going to be good for them. They need to do something to stop us here. Miz 3000. I knew it! Miz 3000 always comes in to ruin my day. I figured they ran it. Oh boy, gosh golly. And what do we do? We need to destroy those cards at all costs now. So can we cast all these cards we want to? I don't know. And take away their power, please, with the might of corruption. Corruption, don't fail me now. Play the barge town back rooms, possibly. And take away the power of the traveling student. Very good. Play barge town back rooms. Cast the bar wasteland mercenary. Do that now. Then cast the guns and ammo shopkeep. And what do we need to do also? Keymaker's cohort destroy. You gain three. Can we cast all three of them? I don't know. We can cast all three, okay. And obliterate the three car bottom cards of your opponent's deck. Keymaker's thing, whatever. Give me some of your cards, please. And cast Keymaker, Zapper, destroy uh, all allied barge town fighters. Gain 250 health and power. Let's do that now. Boom, boom, boom. Good. And play. What do we play? And let's play the Ender Core. They're smuggled in. Play Rocks Epox. And they're going for some very strange deck here. But play the Cosmic Stud. Potentially. We're getting so beefed up. Cause, oh my goodness gracious. So powerful. And now... Let's in turn and see what they do. They don't have no Miz 3000. It is over for them if they're unable to stop us. And we're going to keep smuggling cards in, much to their annoyance. And they, we win. That's enough. The total onslaught. We were able to recover so well from Miz 3000. Our opponent choose to forfeit. And with that, this has been the Barge Town Metaverse set. Group in blocks cards. If you enjoyed the game, you can check it out in the video description. If you enjoyed the video itself, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.